chicken coop to act like a yeah. playpen basically for the baby chicks. Colton. For the baby, the actual like baby chicks? Yes. Well, the, yeah. the medium yeah. and the small ones. Damn. Right now the small Damn. ones are on the pole barn and the medium sized are in the barn in the chicken room. Yeah. We got the chicken room all fixed up so now they're in there. Yeah, we're thinking that room will be big enough for our chickens, the medium sized and the small ones when they get bigger. Mom, we can tell this is a video. Mom, what? Tell this is a video. It yeah. is a video. Let's watch it. Uh, we We're still recording it. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, okay. We're gonna fix up that room to be basically a chicken coop because we're not we're not planning on using it for anything else, so yeah, might as well. We're gonna make a chicken. Yeah, and I'm sure it's gonna be good because we could go inside of it. But the the only thing that I want to do not want to do is step in poop. longer one and cut it to fit the one side once this one wears out we'll probably do that we just have it zip tied to the chicken wire that's on there we also have added a handle this whole side operates as a door so I'll show you that and then this just opens up here 
allows us a large ed entry point into the coop so we can put in their feed and water and then put the chicks in there as we get them. And so it's just nice having that big long door. Had I done it again, maybe I would have put it on the side. Um, it wouldn't have allowed for as big of a doorway. That's the only problem. So that's kind of up to the person who's making it, whether or not you want to put it um, on the larger side or uh, do a smaller triangle door. I've even seen them where they've cut and done a rectangle door on the sides and uh, shortened that middle post that we have in there. You know, just come down just a little ways on that post and then do a rectangle doorway in that spot there. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, we have screws that you could put into the top beam that goes across there. And then you could add a hanging feeder in there for your chicks. This just helps to protect them from uh, predators during the daytime. Dogs, um, eagles, hawks, any flying predators. Um, and you can move it fairly easily uh, to get fresh new grass every day. So we do that, we'll move it every day that we have the chicks in there. Now our chicks are all free ranging, so we don't really need to worry about that as much. So this is the final product.